Hi, I hope you are learning things which will certainly help you in creating micro videos. In this lecture, we will learn to make beautiful overlay text animation which we will use in our video in Adobe Premiere. Let's open Adobe After Effects. I am using Adobe After Effects CS6. Step 1. Press Ctrl plus N to start the new project and open its composition settings. Here we will choose the HDTV 1080 frame rate 29.92 settings. The width of it is 1920 and 1080. Kindly check the log aspect ratio to 16 ratio 9 also. We will create multiple compositions here in After Effects. And then we will call all these compositions in Adobe Premiere. The composition time duration will be SM as the time duration of the footage we used in Premiere. It is very important to match the time of your image footage with the composition in after effects we will set the duration of our comp 1 duration to 7 seconds and 20 frames all set hit ok to open composition 1 step 2 please keep your script window active to copy the text and use that in after effects we will create a solid layer on which we will put and animate our text. To create a solid layer, click on layer, then new, and then solid. The shortcut of that is Ctrl plus Y. We will keep the setting as it is. However, we will change its color to yellow. Step 3. Press S to see the scale value of the solid layer. We will create a lower third lookalike out of this solid layer. Now we will shrink it to look like a thick strip and then move it down to the screen. Step 4. Now we will try to animate it in. To do this, we first make an initial keyframe. Press the button P to reveal the position value. Now click on the stopwatch button next to the position. It has marked the current value of position. Then at frame number 40, we will mark to add another keyframe as the final keyframe. Now we will go to our first frame and drag it out of the screen to the left side. This way the software will automatically create an in animation. Step 5. To smooth the animate in process, we will click on the graph editor and here we will click on easy ease button. Now, we will drag the handle in such a way that it creates the initial frame smooth. Press N to reduce the work area and then go to composition menu then preview to preview the animation. Step 6. Let's do some enhancement to it. On the final keyframe we will drag the solid layer a bit to its right side to create some space on the left side of the screen like this. We will create a duplicate of the yellow solid layer by pressing the Ctrl plus D key together and slide the layer to the sixth frame. We will change its color to grayish white. To do this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Y keys together. Now 
we will change the under layer final keyframe position to something like this and change the position of initial keyframe from the right side of the screen. It will look like this. Step 7. We will select the text tool from the tools menu. The shortcut key of the text tool is T. We will copy the text from the script and paste it here. You may want to change the font of the text. You may also want to make the text all caps. The choice is all yours. Step 8. Press the P button to reveal the position value of the text layer. Click on the stopwatch to add an initial keyframe and slide the timer to some frames ahead and then click to add another keyframe or the final keyframe. On the initial keyframe, drag the text layer down the screen. The software will create the rest of the animation. Step 9. Click on the graph editor and choose the Easy Ease button. And slide the handle to make in animation smooth. You may want to add motion blur to the text layer. To do that, enable the motion blur button here. Also, click on the toggle switch mode button and then enable the motion blur effect on the text layer. Step 10 We have to animate out the layers also. Simply reverse the keyframes to animate out the layers in sequence. Press U button to reveal all the keyframes assigned in any layer. Copy the final frame and paste it to the end of the layer like this. Do the same to the other two layers also. Step 11. Save the project and then open Adobe Premiere. Step 12. Click on Import from the File menu and call the Adobe After Effects source file. Select Comp1 here and hit OK. Step 13. Now drag the Comp1 to Timeline window. Right click on the Comp file and click on Unlink button. This will detach the audio from the video. Delete the audio layer. Now drag the Comp1 to its place. It will look like this. So here's how you can create animated overlay text and use them in our micro video to tell the story. This is the first comp which I have created. I will need to make more comps for the rest of the video. Again. Creativity has no limits and you are free to animate the solid layers from anywhere in the screen. You can use some amazing text animations preset in the Adobe After Effects software. Please feel free to contact me in any way you may want to get help. In the meantime, let me replicate and place the text in our video to complete it. Looking forward to the next class.